Hey Glory, Neho. Here is Tamuke, the first line. Now it's very difficult to teach uh, Honkyoku uh, on video, so I'm going to attempt a different way this time. This is the first line. You might do a screen capture to get it. Um, oftentimes in traditional lessons, you, you need to learn how to sing the line. So it starts with Roro Sore. Roro. That's all in one breath. So, the most important thing in this Dokyuku style uh, that I learned from my teacher, Kinya Sogawa, is that getting those medis to be um, a full step down in sumeri and the, and the proper tone color is, is very difficult and it takes years of practice. But essentially, the first note, ro, dai ro medi and ro, they're one whole step apart. If this is ro, ro, the first note, dai ro medi, it's a step down. So it's ro, ro, ro. Of course, that means a very deep medi. Sometimes to get that note, you can work backwards to hear it. So you blow a loud roll, and then medi to dai ro medi, and that'd be a soft note. So it would go roll, roll. So you would start with the dai ro medi, go roll, roll. And then to get that su re, it's very difficult. Su u re. That su medi in, in dokuku is a half step. So ro 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 su re. You have to hear that su medi flat enough. So you can start with the su open and medi. Put the hold down half and the medi more. So there's three sets to get that su medi flat enough. So you, but essentially, you can't play it unless you hear that melody. Ro ro su re. So one should sing it. So that's what I did so far. Ro ro su re. Now at the end, my teacher has this little uh, curly Q up, which means you sharpen the note just as you exhale from the breath. At the very end, you lift that to get sude. Very light. Even that was too much. And then from that, you come back into ro ro. That's all in one breath. Sorry, I didn't play it as well as I could because I'm a little distracted by um, stuff happening around me outside. But uh, basically, if you listen to a lot of uh, players play this, even you can go back as far as Watazumi, you'll be playing it differently from, from what your teacher taught you and what I'm teaching you and what my teacher taught me. Uh, and what my teacher's teacher taught him is because um, as good artists and musicians, you own the material and you start to hear it the way you want to hear it. Now, if you want to play as traditional as possible, um, that's up to you to discover what that means and what, how that relates to your life. But I think the best way to learn this now is to hear the melody. Roro sure, roro. So if you play it on another instrument, that helps. For example, here's my uh, flea market find I found the other day. And here's Tamuke on this really nice classic American guitar. So this would be a very non-traditional yet um, applicable tune because this is how I feel it today. So you could play it on the piano. These are these are solid notes that uh, Western musicians can hear. 
uh, again. Now the whole song could be sung like that. Then when you can sing the whole song, you basically have to find those MIDI notes that are in tune on your guitar, uh, on your flute, sorry, which is very difficult. And this is our first free lesson on Tamuke for my Young Flutes community on Facebook.